Over 90 junior golfers, both from the boys' and girls' game, were in East Lothian at Castle Park to compete in the inaugural Stephen Gallagher Foundation National Match Play Championship. A terrific parkland venue, eager as always to welcome the Foundation players, all of whom were desperate to make a belated start to their competitive season. Making it through to the 36th hole final were two golfers who have been competing in the Foundation events for over six years. Cameron Adam from Royal Burgess, the 2019 Scottish Under-16s champion, was up against Scottish Boys Champion 2019 Ruben Lindsay from Air Belisle. A real quality match then, over a testing layout in perfect conditions. So let's get on with the action. Well, you might have noticed that Ruben Lindsay wasn't too happy with his drive there at the first. He would lose that. He also lost the second. So he's two down as we join them on the third. And what a tee shot that is from Cameron Adam. Well, he's really putting the pressure on in the early stages of the match. This was Ruben's reply. Pretty good stuff. Just over 150 yards. The par 3 third. Today's referee, Ian Melville. Going round with the golfers. Well, Ruben failed to sink his birdie putt, which means that that too by Cameron Adam put him to three up after three holes. And in fact, he would go on to win the fourth. So by the time we rejoin them here, by the side of the fifth green, Ruben Lindsay was four down after four, but a very tidy up and down for a birdie four, we'd get the deficit back to three. Now Cameron Adam, he would win the sixth to go back to four up. And that was the state of play here on the eighth. But Ruben had this to get it back down to three for a birdie. Uh, well, that wasn't the first putt that had gone close without dropping for Ruben. Four, still the difference as we move down to nine. Cameron Adam with his third shot here on the par 5. 548 yards. He would have to settle for a birdie. This was Ruben Lindsay's eagle putt. But he too would have to settle for a tap-in birdie. Half the hole, still four in it as they move on to the back nine. Now here at 10, both golfers have missed the green on this tricky dog leg par 4. But... Ruben Lindsay giving himself a great chance for par. Put the pressure on a little bit to Cameron. You can see him in the green side bunker. Uh, well, he flopped it up nicely. But um, despite that nice shot, it was only Ruben Lindsay that would hold the putt. So it would go back to three the difference. As it was by the time they stepped on to the 12th tee. Now this par 3 is straight uphill. It really is something else. And it doesn't give up too many birdies. But a fine tee shot there from Ruben Lindsay. Uh, enjoying the conditions, enjoying the course. I'm beginning to enjoy eating away at Cameron Adams' lead. Look at that birdie too. Fantastic stuff from the Ayrshire man. Down on to 13, and Cameron and Adam, nice drive, middle of the fairway, lob wedge in hand. And what about this for a reply? That putt would drop for a birdie, Cameron would win the hole, and he was back to three up. Now that was the state of play here on 16. You'll have to believe us that that was Cameron and Adam down there, having missed the green at this long par three. But what a recovery shot. That's almost gimme length. Ruben Lindsay had also missed the green. And also played a very nice recovery shot. The whole half in pars. On 17 though, Ruben Lindsay got a birdie to get the deficit back to two. And he had this putt to make sure there would only be one in it as the players headed for lunch. And uh, disappointed to miss, but Cameron Adam had been in a little bit of trouble and he had this to save his par. It stayed out. Ruben Lindsay won the hole. 
And the lunchtime score, one up to Cameron Adam. Well, for the afternoon, Stephen Gallagher himself came along to enjoy the action. It was a scrappy start coming back up the first. Both players in trouble after their drives, but Ruben Lindsay had a short putt to level the match. All square, 19 holes played. And it was still all square as the players came up the fifth. Par five. This was Cameron Adams' fourth shot. And he would have to settle for a par. Ruben Lindsay was on the green after two. This is eagle putt. But he had two putts to win the hole. He took them. And for the first time today, Ruben Lindsay was ahead in the match. One up. By the time they reached the seventh, Ruben Lindsay was two up, having won the sixth. Now, uh, par three, 165 yards down the hill. And uh, Ruben's game was really in good shape by this point. Look at that for a tee shot. Well, Cameron also hit the green, was a little bit further away, but neither player could convert for a birdie. We rejoin the players here at 13, where Ruben Lindsay has now built up a healthy lead. He's three ahead. Both players struggling for the par here. Well, maybe not Cameron and Adam. Right in the middle of the hole with that. It was good enough to take the hole. Get it back to two the difference. And uh, buckle in for some pretty spectacular stuff over the next few holes. Uh, this is the short par four. 14th. Cameron and Adam laid up with his uh, drive to sit at the top of the hill for his approach. And it looked to be paying dividends. Very nicely done. Ruben Lindsay, he'd cleared the little rough patch at the top to come down to the bottom of the slope with his drive. And, well, whatever works for you. Two good birdie opportunities. Ruben Lindsay would miss his, which meant that Cameron and Adam had this birdie putt to bring the score back to one in it. Just dropped in the side. Ruben Lindsay, now only one hole ahead. A real roller coaster as far as the scoring goes this match today. Uh, Cameron Adam in the greenside bunker after a drive at the par 4 15th. And look at this. Eagle 2. Good enough to square the match, win the hole. And all to play for as they walk on to the 16th. 220 yards. This par 3 over a gully. And we saw them struggle this morning with their tee shots, having to recover. But no problem this afternoon. What a shot by Ruben Lindsay. That was good enough for a birdie. It was good enough to take the hole. And he was one up, heading down the 17th. And, well, a bit of a surprise look in his face. Uh, looking down, this is a par four. And that is Cameron Adams' drive. Good enough for another eagle. The match all square. As the players head down 18th for the second time today. Now they're both a fair distance away after two shots. Here on the par four. And uh, Ruben just coming up a little bit short. Well the par's safe. But it means that Cameron Adam has this to win the National Match Play Championship. Look at that. It was on it all the way. Just coming up short. Well, a fantastic contest. Going to extra time. Back onto the par five first. And uh, both players really giving it all they've got. A big, big drive from Cameron Adams. That's over 300 yards there. And, well, obviously the adrenaline uh, is coursing through the veins because you can see a little bit big with his approach. Uh, if Cameron Adams' drive was big, Ruben Lindsay's was a monster. Probably somewhere around the 330, 340 yard mark. Uh, flopping up a wedge to this raised par 5 green with his second shot. And looking to take advantage after Cameron and Adam playing it through and into the rough. Well, he'd have wanted it closer, but not too bad. Now, a very, very tricky shot. 
Cameron, what can he do here? Trying to run it down the slope and just onto the green. Well, he's still got a chance of his birdie. That is if he gets a chance to hit his putt. Ruben Lindsay has this for an eagle to win the tournament. Oh, and he has left that pretty far short. And he knows it. It's certainly not a gimme. Five, six feet away. And, uh, well, Cameron and Adam all of a sudden could really put the pressure on if this drops. Well, he gave it a good go. And, uh, well, Ruben Lindsay's still got a lot of work to do to win the match. This five, six feet putt for a birdie and the win. It drops. Well played, Ruben Lindsay. What a fantastic final. But Ruben Lindsay is our 2020 Stephen Gallagher Foundation National Match Play Champion. Well, it was down for the prize giving and uh, Scott Knowles from the Foundation alongside Grant Mather from the Simple Group, the major sponsors for this week's tournament. Uh, and a nice touch before uh, the trophy gets handed over to Ruben Lindsay is the Stephen Alka Foundation is starting a Hall of Fame and the first inductee is a 2018 Scottish Boys Champion, Connor Wilson. Now, Connor has put in a ton of work alongside uh, mum and dad, Craig and Palm, here at Castle Park, where he's based, getting the course ready, working on his game, and a very worthy recipient, a good ambassador for the Foundation and Scottish Golf, Connor Wilson. But now let's hear from our champion, Ruben Lindsay, and a great victory, especially after being four down after four holes. I just hit a few bad shots, and Cammy was... He was just playing pretty well. Um, I think he, he birdied three holes in a row. Um, didn't really let me get uh, back into it after the first hole. But yeah, I think um, I knew you know so many holes left. Um, and I knew that I've got so many birdies left in me. And kind of by the ninth hole, um, I started to really turn something on and, and hit a few really good shots. It takes two to create a final of this quality, of course. So how does Cameron Adam reflect on his week here in East Lothian? It's been fantastic. I think it was a it was a long four months, um, just with no golf in general, and um, never been competing. I think I can speak for everyone in saying that when we've built up sort of for the whole winter into a season, then it's taken away from you like a couple of weeks before it's meant to start. It's uh, it's quite difficult to get around. But now that we're back and Stephen Gallagher Foundation have put on a tournament, it's it's really good to be back. It's probably a bit easier losing to someone that's that I know and I know there's a very good golfer um, but no he, he played really really well and uh, to bring it back from being four down through four is uh, pretty special. The foundation have done so much for for me personally and for junior golf um, around all of Scotland not just the Lothians um, so yeah it's uh, what they've done is just it's second to none really. It's uh it's something special. It's really special.